What's up guys? It's Bye Bye here. Today, I will be sharing with you guys why I think the Legendary Tavern is very good for free-to-play players and how should free-to-play players play this event. Uh, first, let's go into why I think it's a good event for free-to-play players. Number one, it is a 42-day long event and each day, you're given a free spin. Free spin equal free rewards there every day. You have a pretty decent chance of getting a specific legendary commander sculpture. Uh, if you look at the probability list right here, uh, even though right for each commander here, the probability is pretty small. But if you add it, if you add them all up, uh, the total percentage of you getting any kind of like legendary commander sculpture is around 25 to like 30 percent so that is pretty high that guarantee like once every three or four keys you open you're going to get a commander sculpture it could be jenny scan sad and alex it could be any of these commander here like if you're adding up the probability here right it's around 25 30 percent chance right here which is pretty high pretty high there and the commander here is much better than the golden key commander. So legendary tavern is a thousand times better than the golden key. And you get free golden keys one every two, three days, right? The leg the legendary tavern, you get you get a free you get like a free spin once every day. Uh when did my uh, golden key reset here? Right. So today is still like 21 hours here that I reset it like I think a day or two days ago. Uh, I can't remember, but, but it definitely more than two days or at least two days for the golden key to reset. On the other hand, the legendary tavern with better reward here and I'm getting one free one every day. So let's go ahead here and try a free spin here. Maybe we can get a, a commander sculpture here for the video. Uh, here we go. I, I just say it. I just say it. It's a, has a pretty Decent chance of getting a commander sculpture and Z as a good commander. I'm getting a, an Alex sculpture here, right? So pretty pretty good here. Uh, let me take a mix uh, a screenshot here for now so I can use this screenshot for the thumbnail. All right So uh, so that is the number one reason right very very decent chance of getting commander sculpture and you get you get a free one every day and there are also like three other like very very good other reward as well Sometimes I can get like a 5 million wood, which is, man, very much needed. Or like a 2 million gold. Oh my god, that is so much needed for KVK as well. Like the resource and speed up from here is very, very much need needed as well. And very, very good chance, right? That is why I'm saying it is a thousand times, a thousand times better than the golden key. Uh, number two, for a lot of players, it can be very, very difficult to obtain mightiest governor event commanders. Especially with many, many, many kingdoms doing fixed mightiest governor nowadays. And with the new change in the layer mightiest governor event where you can choose any commander you want. So like the big fish in your kingdom, the pay to win players, are most likely going to win most of the event. And it's going to be very, very hard for a free to play player to unlock some of the mightiest commanders. But with the legendary tavern, you have a chance. You have a, a small probability here anytime you open using your free spin or if you got some extra legendary tavern key from some of the events, you can open them and you go have a chance. You go, you go get a shot at like getting one of those commanders. Or if you somehow, if you somehow can manage to open 200 times here, right? Every time you open 200 keys, you gotta be able to guarantee you got to be able to guarantee to unlock a commander of your choice here. You can get 10 sculpture right here. So as you can see right here, I am at 45 openings so far into this KVK. And I'll tell you guys later how you should be playing this event. I made a couple mistakes when I played this event. Just laying it out there. That is why you see I have 45 spin right now. It should be lower because I wasn't thinking when I first start, started playing this event. So, uh, so that is an option for you to unlock some of the some of the mighty government event commanders, right? So, how should you play Legendary Tavern for free to play players? My number one advice for you: 
do not use your keys, right? Do not use the actual key here, right? Sometimes you gotta get the actual key from some of the event, like uh, right now, you got the warpath here, which gives you the, the key. If you train 2,000, here two units, uh, four keys a day here with like four days, you can get up to like 16 keys right there. And this event happened, I think, twice every KVK. So you can get up to about 32 keys right there in total. Uh, and there are also other events here. Uh, we just passed it, the Harvest Festival event. It, it, it also happened, at, I think, twice during the KVK as well. You have a chance to get about four keys every time. So that is an eight key right there. So like, you have a good chance. You have a good chance to, to collect the legendary tavern keys. Enough, not in one KVK, not in one, definitely not in one KVK. So you definitely have to save your keys, right? Do not make the mistakes that I did. So I, I think I spent about 10 keys. I think I spent about 10 legendary tavern keys here and I realized, oh shit, I fucked up because I need to, I need to open 200 times for me to guarantee to unlock some of the commander in here. So even if I spend all my keys right now for this KVK, I'm gonna be around like 70, right? 70, right? If I'm gonna get some of the key from the event for the next few days, I'm gonna be around 100 keys, 100 times. And that is not good enough. That is not good enough. Those 100 keys gonna go to waste because I'm not gonna be able to unlock the commanders. But like after this event is over, those keys, like those opening, right? Those extra 100 open, it's not gonna get carried to the next KVK. Next KVK is it going to be reset. So, you definitely do not want, you do not want to spend your keys unless, unless you know that you got to have that 200 keys by the end of the event, right? You want to make sure that you can guarantee yourself to unlock the commanders and make sure you only use them when you need to unlock a commander, right? So, you know, here's the list of commander here. If none of the commander is in here that you want. Like, you don't have to use the actual legendary tavern keys here, right? Don't have to use these keys here. Just use your free spins every day. Save those keys until the next Mighty Governor event commanders come out. And your name is not on the list for winning. Then, hey, now you have a 200 keys ready to open. Go ahead, open those keys. And you're going to be able to get yourself the list. Mighty Governor event commander. So there you go. A very, very decent chance. Very, very... Probably one of the easiest way. It does take a long time, right? I think it definitely take about two KVK, two season of conquest KVK for you to collect enough keys to unlock the mightiest government event commander. But for like a lot of a lot of kingdoms, right? A lot of, a lot of free to play players they have a very hard time to unlock those commanders because all of the big players they go be at least the top fifteen, top ten, and it's gonna be very very difficult for them. And this is your way. This is your other option. This is your other option to unlock the commanders. You need to be patient. You need to do your, some of the math there to make sure that you go have that 200 keys. I do not make the same mistakes that I did. I spent about 10. I, I spent, I think I spent 10 legendary time and keys. I, oh shit, I fucked up. Then I, okay, I'm not gonna spend my keys again. I'm gonna keep saving. I'm gonna keep saving until I can guarantee myself that I'm gonna get 200 spins. So like every so this event is what uh forty two day long right so you are guaranteed you are guaranteed to have that forty two or, or forty five keys right right there right uh forty two forty five time opening so all you have to do is you have to collect about hundred sixty right when you have about an actual hundred sixty keys that is when you kind of think oh okay let's go and look at the list of the commanders in the legendary tavern hey can I get anything from there if the answer is yes then by all means go ahead. And start opening those keys. I don't recommend you rushing into the UZ keys early unless you are. Oh, let's say you have a like, um, let's say, let's say you have a, oh, you got like a Constantine at like nine, you got nine sculpture for Constantine, and you're like, oh my god, I need one more, I need one more to unlock my Constantine. Then maybe you like, okay, let's take a risk here, right? Because the probability to unlock Constantine is pretty low. Or some of the other commanders, but I, I think that is, that is the only time I would recommend you guys to use your keys early. Right? If you're like, oh, I'm missing one commanders, one sculpture there, that is when you should be using your keys early. Otherwise, keep saving. So I'm gonna keep saving these keys here. These keys are here to stay; they do not expire. So keep them until you need a commanders. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.